Yeah, good evening, Nigeria and the world at large. Uh, my name is uh, Milete Ingu Johnson. I'm um, popularly known as J. Sign. Um, I'm a Nigerian, first of all, and um, I'm a thief man from the Benin State. I have a BSc in psychology. Today, to speak over something that I, I know much about, something that I've been a victim of over some time, and uh, the Lord vindicated me, and I think it is good that I speak to a group of young people that are engaged into this so much because I turn and look at my society uh, I can assure you that 85% if not 90 of Nigerian youth are doing drugs we'll be talking about drug use and drug abuse generally today um, from a psychological point of view substance abuse generally is uh, anything or any substance one takes uh, maybe for the purpose of of uh, getting high. That's that's that's, that's the street slang. Uh, you get high and get high and all of that. And in psychology, we talk about it. We differentiate the substances. We talk about it in relationship to what the substances do to these human beings and all of that. I was once a victim of. Uh, uh, drug abuse how do people get to abuse drugs how do people get to know about drugs in the first place uh, it's done through pair groups and uh, the so called friends that we keep you get introduced to a thing if you're not very careful you'll be introduced to what you had hated initially but you will fall in love with it. There are certain things you don't you don't try at all. In the past, the the most common drug that was abused by people was the marijuana, uh, popularly called India hemp. It has names that they call call it and make it look sexy. People call it names like stone, names like weed. Means like blau and all of that. Uh, people smoke marijuana. Some say it's medicinal. Some say it's inspirational. And all of that. But all of that is fake. You take these drugs and what you do is you hallucinate. Uh, you, you mix up pictures. You mix up realities. But coming down to let me say the past 10 years chemist shops are making more money you go to chemists you see young people trooping in and out there is a certain drug called syrup cough syrup with codeine it's a very popular thing you see young people they they step into chemists in and out buying codeine there is another drug that is called refnon uh they nickname it nickname it a uh, blue boy because it takes you take and your tongue is blue in case you see your child and uh, the tongue is deep blue and all of that you begin to wonder what's going on with them uh the codeine you see your children sometimes you see young people talking about coda talking about code and all of that if you go to chemist shops nowadays you see most of the chemist uh, uh, vendors they you see a very large chemist it's there but there is an off-counter drug that is actually selling very fast this codeine you have Ruchi as one of it there is uh, another painkiller drug that was supposed to be taken for pain killing but it's abused too that it's called trauma some tramadol and all of that is in in milligrams is in hundred is in two hundred uh five hundred milligrams and all of that one will begin to ask why am i making a video on this lately i i had once indulged in this and a lot of things happen uh, you could wake up 
a whole day and have a black out of your yesterday you need friends or need people around you to tell you what you had done yesterday and you you live totally in surprise uh, uh, as if uh, you weren't the one that did it in the first place uh, you take these drugs it becomes a trouble for you to eat most people taking these drugs you go to places to see young people uh, they are doing taking soft drink you see them in groups taking soft drinks taking water more like uh, you don't see anything going on they are drowsy you see them hanging around just sleeping off uh, you go to the universities you see students around they don't even go for lectures because uh, you are just comfortable doing nothing you are relaxed in a state where you feel uh, you rule and own the world that you own nothing about uh, you 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 get aggressive anytime the drug is about to leave your body that's the end most times that's the end result of of a particular intake and then he makes people indulge into criminal activities because an imagination of how the current one in your body is going to leave you without getting a new supply can get you doing anything just to get money uh, you see a lot of people they don't look themselves again they become barely lean they look worn out they become dirty the money that was meant for school fees meant for clothes meant for food everything is converted into drugs and these drugs are because the people selling them have noticed that young people cannot do without it that have moved them from the very normal prices that the rates that the government uh, uh, actually uh, stipulated that they were supposed to be sold for they have been increased in price for instance the cough syrup that was supposed to be sold for 300 naira will be sold for like 800 and you see a lot of people doing different kind of things to go get these drugs so i am trying to advise young people to stay off these drugs and you can gain back your sense of humor you can gain back your integrity it makes you lose a lot of things at a point in time i could notice that i was advancing and a couple of friends seated were like he's coming again because they were ex expecting either trouble or expecting you to come ask them for money because your conscience um, dramatically leaves you you can take money even from a child because you need money to go and do these drugs you see a lot of people uh, in a town where I came from, Akodi, you know, is a town that uh, develops uh, slangs and sent to the world. That's why you see the, the popular artist Two Face. His his pigeon is different from his folks. If you look around the music, uh, he call woman things like Chikala. You come to Makodi, you hear stuffs like like Votron. You hear stuffs like Fifty Fifty on a drug parole and all of that so you see people come and sit you see ma matured res people that were supposed to be responsible we vote strong for a drug with children that were supposed to be their younger ones that they were supposed to advise on what to do and they get into these drugs together so i just sat down and i got out of this and i i, I kept wondering how i was going to to get this across to young people you may interest one one we would love to ask how and why did i leave drugs oh yes i left drugs by sitting down and taking a good look at myself and taking what i call uh, internal examination internal examination in the sense that everything was getting wrong with me but i was always looking for who to blame over what was wrong with me i could blame my mom for not having the finances that I was supposed to have and not giving me the support she was supposed to. My parents basically. Uh, I'll blame friends for not being nice to me. I'll blame a uh, uh, family for not care being caring. I'll blame the society for not giving me give, giving me opportunities that I, I felt I was supposed to have. But I think it was the Lord that spoke to me. So a voice asked me, now that you've finished blaming everybody, what can you now say about yourself that you are doing that is one of the problems you are having so you could add to this since you know what others are doing to you that are, that is not good 
what are you doing to yourself that is not good and i i was able to see that i could not have money because all the money i had i used them for drugs i could not look good as i was supposed because instead of eating food taking fruit and doing what i was supposed to do with money i will use it for drugs i could buy less clothes i became concerned less about everybody i felt everything in life was about me and i saw it and took the blame on me i decided a physical attempt to stopping drugs i decided that i was going to cut down on my drug intake initially i woke up and i decided because you see these drugs most times people doing these drugs don't really do alcohol so you can see that i'm talking about drugs i'm not really talking much about alcohol alcoholism is uh, another thing on its own maybe we'll talk about it more of it another day but the people doing drugs if you go around spots you see them doing more of bottled water more of uh, uh, soft drinks coke particularly is their choice uh, coke particularly or maybe something like pepsi not not anything too different from that they could they could go with any other soft drink except these ones are not available so you see them they can sit down and take 20 bottles of soft drink as the case may be as long as the the, the supply keeps coming so i sat down and i tried to look at what i was doing with the little money i was getting that i could not use it the way i had intended so i spoke to myself and I said I was not going to use my money to buy drugs. It looks very impossible. Because it's something that is very, very addictive. You get addicted to this. You don't even like anybody coming to give you an idea of how you are going to stop it. I know a lot of people are going to hate me for doing this video in the first place. But that's not the problem. I'm not doing it to be, for it to be loved by anyone anyway. I am doing it to let reality out. And you see people coming. They are so diminished. They walk, they walk very sick. They don't look good. You see their skin color changes. Different kind of irritations. Sometimes you see young people sit, they are scratching their body. Reactions from these drugs. Uh, are yawning. Their lips are always dry. They are licking up their lips like every other moment. Wanting to drink water at every other moment. But no food. Nobody thinks about food. The money for food is a waste. To somebody who is on drugs so the other day i was with a friend i i was telling him i needed to do a video on drugs uh he's also an artist a renowned person i know he would not mind if i call his name because he advised me to go ahead and do he told me it was a good one i was my brother so clems one of uh, the very renowned artists who were trying to look at the problems of the society and we all admitted to each other that we are where we are now because of the mistakes of yesterday and one among the biggest mistakes of yesterday to us was that drug time it took away a lot of time from us we were happy doing nothing we were busy doing nothing always taking drugs going out every other day for someone that takes drugs every day is holiday you go out every day you do anything any day your conscience is not there with you so you can sell a friend's phone you can take money and not return it and you can tell any lie to get your way through and all of that the young people that do drugs especially the male the male the, the, the boys the guys the men that do drugs another effect of it is it causes you to have poor erection people that do drugs their body becomes become it deteriorates that the feeling for sex is no more there even though fornication is not uh, advisable sometime one ought to get married and if you are not sexually sound if your erection is poor you could not even have children so there are so many ease to this so we sat down and agreed that we're going to meet bptv 
and uh, the CEO is a friend I will speak to him we will plead with him to do us a video I will be doing a series of these with time because time will come that we will invite other people to come and speak on this we're just starting this is just the first series come and speak on the negative effects of this drug game and let people know how much it is going it will get to a time that uh, we are going to partner with BPTV we will partner even with drug law and as someone who was into drugs if I partner with drugs I bet you if they are ready to do their work we will do a very outstanding job or we'll partner with Benin State Government uh, because uh, the last time I checked and I was in Benue, I saw B boards uh, where the governor uh, the governor's picture is on a B board somewhere in Boko in Makodi where he he wrote drug use and abuse he he said you shouldn't use it and you shouldn't deal it so I think we'll go I'm beginning to partner with state government and partner with uh, our drug enforcement agencies we can get the people doing this and bring them to book and there is no trick around drug use abuse and its dealings that I don't know and I am not willing to expose there is this compressed India hemp uh, some say it's compressed with uh, that environment chemical is actually some say that's what I don't know what exactly but it is compressed this uh, this form of hemp is compressed and it is called skunk you see people talking about SK calling it skills calling it sweet names you sit down you see young people talk about SK talk about skills that only them will code within themselves and because it is compressed with different chemicals it is more abused openly than the normal Indian hemp used to be because uh, the normal Indian hemp, once it is being lit up in a place, anyone around the place gets uh, irritated. But they, they add this chemical, add to it some perfumes, compress it and make it feel better. So when it is being smoked, you hardly get the, the, the smoke from the normal irritative uh, Indian hemp smoke that uh, most people were conversant with, most parents were conversant with. Uh, most parents cannot detect even when their child is smoking, just maybe in the toilet or behind the house, this uh, species of Indian hemp called skunk. The, a very small piece of it of this kind, let's say, can go for at least two to three hundred and the dealer is very fair. Uh, most dealers sell it. Uh, 500 and a thousand that's how they sell it so basically i had to come out and tell people about this so like i was saying i prayed to god after looking internally and seeing that what i was doing was not right i prayed to my god and i asked god that i needed to come out of it and he helped me uh, the lord said if you have a burning desire you should pray about it and if you desire it and you pray sincerely, the Lord helps you to stop. And I'm now enjoying my life. Uh, the people that saw me like three, four, five years ago can actually testify to the fact that I look fresh, I look more chubby, I look more good now. Because I no longer use these drugs. I use my money rightly. I can remember rendering out help to one or two persons. I remember always having money reserved in the pocket. I remember always having my heart at ease and having my brain straight. I accept a, 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 a defeat when I'm defeated and I fight on again. I see negative things and I know. I see challenges and I call them challenges. I stand up to everything. I stand up to challenge. I pray hard. I work hard. I try to do things that I never used to do. That drug used to hold me down and I used to feel all was okay. So I am here out today to actually call you nigerian youths to come out of what you are doing that is not good drug abuse is not going to help you do you anything and uh, if drug was a positive thing i think i'll speak about it and i'll let the world know it was positive and if drug was positive or was in a way good at all and i had done it i won't be i i would feel very proud of it and i wouldn't be here speaking against it and for me to come out and accept to the world i was an addict or uh, 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 I had I had used drugs or abused drugs over a time is not to to show off 
or, or, or to show that I'm a good person or a better person per se, but is to encourage you and make you understand that you can actually walk out of that life. And I, I pray that as you listen and you trust God to leave drugs and you pray to God that you want to leave drugs and you begin to use your money rightly, you begin to choose what to do with your money and leave drugs, you will have uh, better results. I think in this first series, uh, I, I can appreciate BPTV now and I tell you the whole world that we've come to an end of our uh, series one on drug abuse. Thank you once again, Amelia Tengu Johnson, Jay and thank you the CEO and the management of BPTV Mouth.